morning guys welcome back to another episode of the metro drive i label it 18 it could be 17 i don't know i'm gonna go back and check it out and see what number we're on but uh today we're gonna talk about the importance of your circle and kind of what a good circle might look like and um i guess we'll dive right in the importance of it your circle and uh, the people you keep around you is it's a man it's gotta be one of the most important things. It's definitely, I can directly uh, correlate things and, and huge changes in my life based on the people that I've kept around myself. So um, I've broken it down into three things. I, I think four, they, they really helped people's growth, but it doesn't necessarily have to be these. Number one is you definitely, definitely need a mentor. And by the way, all these are people who are promoting what you're doing. So if they're people who are just talk smack, I don't care if they're your brother. I don't care if they're your best friend. Uh, just get them out of there uh, because you, that will affect you. Um, so you need a mentor for sure. Somebody who's definitely been where you're trying to go, who knows more than you and who's willing to teach you. And like they say, you know, they tell you to make changes. You implement those right away. You need a mentor. Uh, number two, I think you need a colleague. Um, you know, a colleague, somebody who's, so you got a mentor who's above you. And then a colleague or someone who's in the you know in the trenches at the same stage as you to kind of like um, empathize a little bit you guys can still like carry each other you know like help each other move each other along boost each other up but it's uh, there's that there's a different mentor mentor mentee relationship than there is just a fellow colleague relationship all again all of these people are boosting what you're doing and then third you need an whatever you call it, somebody lower than you, a uh, student, intern, so you need to be giving back to somebody, giving back to somebody. So uh, obviously in the, the jujitsu world, world, there's tons of memes about this, about white belts, you know, teaching other white belts, but, uh, but giving back to somebody, it could be like, you know, a white belt, you're the new guy. Hey, let me show you how to properly hip escape, or, you know, let me show you how to do this, taking someone under your wing because, the, the more success you get, the higher up you get, and you're just kind of keeping that all to yourself. Uh, one, it's not satisfying, and two, uh, it really kind of keeps things in perspective. I'm always I'm always mindful, and I'm, I remember, we start our kids' class every day. Hey, Allie, we start at and Amanda, I think, yeah. Hey, you know, we start a kids' class. Who remembers their first day? Kids raise their hand. I rem man, I remember my first day, like, vividly. And so, and I remember my first, every, every stage of my life, I remember being there and I remember whatever insecurities and fears and worries and things were associated with that. And so I try to empathize with that and be like, Hey, look, you know, you're probably feeling this. You're probably, you know, don't worry. And they're like, yeah, yeah. You know, their, their eyes light up with that. So those are kind of three things that you should be looking for in your circle. And if there's somebody routinely like I've guys I've cut you know a lot of people out of my life like uh, like these video I've cut people who have made routinely made fun of these videos um, and they were close like I'm talking like uh, close with them for almost 10 years and they you know it just got too negative and I was like look I don't need somebody who's gonna tell me what I'm you know trying to detract from what I'm doing uh, I need somebody who's gonna help that and it, it wasn't like a one-time offense but it was uh you know, routinely over and over and over. Um, and you just gotta let that roll off you, you know? Like it's to the point now to where, like if somebody says something negative or we get, you know, we get a lot of comments or whatever on these on these videos, on the content we're putting out, because you've got so many, so many positive people in your circle, it drowns out whatever negative. And honestly, it just, it becomes like white noise. Like it just, you know, kinda don't hear it. So if there's, if you're just surrounded by negative people, that's gonna come through to you being negative and people are gonna see that and people aren't gonna to wanna to be around you. Conversely, if you're surrounded by positive people, you're gonna have a positive outlook and people are gonna be around you. It's just attractive. Positivity is attractive, um, plain and simple. So that was it, short and sweet, guys. Um, we'll have another episode of the Metro Drive tomorrow and probably piggybacking off of this one about uh, you know using that circle to kind of boost yourself, pr pr propel yourself even higher. So 
I'm Coach David with Metro Jiu-Jitsu. As always, I will see you guys on the mats.